today is February 13th. Today is an awesome day because it marks the first episode of Newsflash. I am super excited to chat with you. So today I would like to talk about something that's been scaring people around the world recently. I, I'm sure you already know what I'm talking about. I am talking about the new dangerous virus that came out of Wuhan in China. So this new virus is a coronavirus. If you look at the virus under a microscope, you can see that it looks like the virus is wearing a crown, right? So hence the name, coronavirus. And corona means crown in Latin. So basically, coronaviruses are a group of viruses that can cause diseases like the common cold, but it can also cause more serious diseases like pneumonia, which is a lung infection, as well as SARS. The one thing about this virus is that it spreads very easily. And due to all the traveling that's happened for Chinese New Year, um, this new virus has spread and infected people all over the world. What's really interesting about this virus is that you can have this virus uh, for a long time before you start showing any symptoms. So people have reported um, of having fevers, coughs, muscle pains, and some people have been feeling tired. And in, in worst cases, uh, some people have also developed pneumonia. But that's only about 20% of people. And if they do feel that sick, they'll just simply go to the hospital to get checked out. So all the doctors have been working really hard to try to stop the spread of the virus by quarantining uh, people who are sick for at least two weeks. That's nice, right? Uh, but we can all do our part to keep all of us safe. What do you think we should do? Well, one of the most important things to do is to wash your hands regularly with soap under running water. If you feel like you have to cough or sneeze, please do so um, into your elbow. If you can't, avoid large crowds of people. And most importantly, please do not touch your eyes, nose, and mouth. I mean, yeah, don't, don't do that because then now I have to go wash my hands, right? I, also, if you're feeling sick, please remember to try and wear a mask whenever possible. This way, you're keeping yourself safe and others as well. The really good news is that more and more people are getting better every single day. So I bet if we just work together, we can fight this virus and also win, right? All right, thank you guys. So until next time, please stay safe. And thank you very, very much for watching. Chin out! So in order to talk a little bit more about the coronavirus in English, here are a few words that you might need to use. So the first one, obviously, is coronavirus. Then the second one is infect. The third one is quarantine. The fourth one is pneumonia. And the last one is symptom or symptoms. Thank you very much. If you like this video, please follow us in all of our channels and don't forget to leave us a comment below. I cannot wait to hear from you. Bye!